Hi guys. And Cesar, as I promised, I will tear down this AGP Tech microphone. So it's time after we use it to prove that it's a good uh, microphone for its price. Uh, we will tear it down and see what's inside. Okay? So let's begin. As you saw already, oh, I don't remember how it was something like here. Yeah, uh, stupid me, I forgot that uh, I have to take out the knobs first. Yeah, I took it uh, apart uh, earlier. Uh, I should use a plier or something because it's a strong fit. It's strong fitted. So we should use some pliers without damaging the stuff that we need it later. But uh, that's the way they are. Yeah. Well, uh, Safe. Yeah, kitty, come on. this way of, uh, of doing stuff. Oh, Do I really need to take them off now? I think that was the, the way out. Is here to, to push them off. Yeah, something like this here. Yeah. And on the second one, uh, that's tricky. That is tricky. Can I reach it? Can I reach it? Down there. Back there. Just stick there, it's not it's kernel a, a little so this is uh, the board inside the frame, like every microphone is. It has the capsule inside it. Yeah, we should uh, have a look on that. We will have a look on the electronics. Hmm. 
<laughs> the cat is meowing. It's beautiful. Beautiful. So, this is it. All it has. It's a mono capsule, not a stereo one. Uh, but still, a good capsule. Which is entered to this board, which we'll, we will analyze uh, separately. So, I'm back trying to set up the. Sorry, look at this. Bring some more light here. Maybe it's uh, helping a little than the natural light. So this is the capsule. That's how it was inside. I never touch it. I think I will clean it a little on the exterior. And have a look on. Uh, The board now. Okay, so we have here a transistor and a, a fat transistor that's um, amplifying the stuff inside. We have some uh, decoupling that is missing and another input maybe from some other version of the of the circuit and uh, most of the circuit we see here is um, I'm sorry it's for uh, that's the back of the board yeah it's not uh, complicated uh, it's just a normal normal pm and that's the fun part that it's uh, it's a good quality build. It uses uh, normal quality components. It can be easily upgraded, changing the caps to better quality ones. This is the preamplifier for the output, and this is the echo circuit that is used. It's standard nothing special but fun part is that other than um, the i don't know the ic i don't know the the voltages for the ac i think this could be powered from phantom power i don't know or converted to be powered from phantom power and not only from usb so i think if we have a quantum power ready cable and not the usb cable we can fit it and uh, i think but i have to check before this so uh, don't try this if you have this microphone don't try to power it on quantum power i think if i see correctly here oh it's a 50 volt 10 micro 50 volt that's good but i don't know if the i see it's handled it because i see no other uh, no other power uh, uh, drop or regulation anywhere on the board no diodes no ic's to, to regulate the power down other than this uh, audio ic and the uh, echo circuit which is a uh, uh, circuit that's uh, al always used in uh, you can find it in a lot of ebay uh, boards but it's good it's even in um, high-tech audio gear used so all in all this device i think it's uh, well made and uh, it's not way more different than 
uh, a better quality maybe the capsule will make the difference but the electronics is quite okay it's silent is not noisy and it has a potential to, to phantom power okay with this uh, said we should um, look for the data sheet and see if uh, data it, uh, I see is uh, able to be powered up by uh, yeah so the capacitors what we see are I don't know if we can see them it's difficult to to read them okay maybe focus a little will help yeah so the cups I cannot read them even if I I don't, I don't know why. Yeah. We will. Uh, we will read them without camera, off camera, and uh, see the values, but in the the voltages. But I think they are all fifty volts, and they can easily support uh, the limit uh, phantom power. So yeah. This is uh, the interior of the mic, as I told you. I will take it down to show you. And it's well made. Uh, could handle a stereo capsule if you have uh, a stereo. With the other uh, board there, with two boards, I think, but that was not the design idea. It has uh, this yeah, trying to continually focus, which is not bad, but uh, sometimes annoying. Yeah, so the audio amplifier I see it's a usual operational amplifier. Um, the potentiometer for uh, delay, amount of uh, of echo, whatever you want to call it, it's a delay uh, chip there, and miscellaneous around it, yeah, and the volume from the fat to audio amplifier, and that's it, simple and efficient. So now uh, we are back with the data sheet for uh, transistor and uh, the IC. Regarding the conversion to phantom power, I think it's doable. But uh, if you want to do it without it, uh, changing any parts on the schematic and on the board of the microphone then the only way you can do it is to use a 5 volt uh, regulator or drop down from phantom power to 5 volt some kind of any module that can handle the dissipation and preferably linear to not uh, bring uh, a lot of noise in, uh, in the um, discussion because it's you know power supply for a highly sensitive uh, microphone with a high <laughs> gain amplification and uh, yeah these are the data sheets it's all around uh, 5 volt so the transistor is made specially design it's specially designed for uh, uh, electric microphone and condenser microphone um, and the IC is the CD2399 which is, uh, as you see, a lot of uh, Chinese um, data sheet. It's in Chinese, but uh, I found the same one made by Princeton Technology, which is still a Chinese company, but uh, uh, yeah, it's more uh, readable for us. That and yeah, that's the the way of action. 
So we have a low pass filter, another low pass filter, and we have the output here. So the amount, we have a mixer here, and uh, that's it. It's a loop, delay loop. Yeah. So um, controlled by a voltage uh, control, controlled oscillator and uh, the delay time it's here, I think, yeah. The, the, is the delay time will be here. Yeah. Okay, so the voltage, the, no, let's see, it's the schematic here. So this is the input-output part, yeah, with the mixer combined with the variable pot resistor or potentiometer or a variable resistor or maybe a fixed one. In our case, it's a fixed one. This value is fixed to a point and then before oscillation start or where everything is acting uh, good uh, from their point of view, this can be modified, this resistor here. And um, we use only this potentiometer to control the amount of delay in our, uh, in our schematic. So yeah, that's the circuit that, uh, the circuit that is used and the schematic almost uh, identical to the one we have on uh, on board uh, if it's not the same uh, you can use this uh, in uh, storm boxes and other uh, audio delay lines uh, circuits or whatever applications you need to uh, a delay line uh, only thing that uh, is uh, here and need to be added is the operational amplifier that is for driving the output but uh, that's a normal um, op-amp that's a jelly bean op-amp so yeah that was the most important part that we wanted to cover so we have them here the transistor it's an it's a fat that's uh, made for um, working on 5 volts uh, it's low noise amplifier in this case and the IC so um, I think uh, overall in conclusion in conclusion in, uh, in the ending of this uh, this video is that the microphone it's uh, well made and um, over over achiever achiever for over delivering for his uh, his line of price so um, you can decide by yourself if you like to use this kind of microphone yeah i will make a no, another uh, demonstration i'm re recording this uh, part with it uh, and now it's uh, uh, with uh, no delay and uh, now I started, I started to add delay. delay. It's, it's at uh, around, um, I don't know. Now no, it's, it's around the middle. middle. Now it's quarter. Now, now it's, it's middle, middle of uh, the clock. clock. If we imagine an analogy clock, clock. Yeah, yeah, it's 12 o'clock. And uh, now it's uh, 3 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock. And. Uh, yeah, maximum. Now, now is maximum. Is maximum. Hey, 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 cool. hey, hey, Yeah, it adds the the room effect. I'm sorry for the noises. Had to touch it. Yeah, and the microphone it's working really, really good. I believe uh, without um, saying that it's something that nobody saw, but uh, for the price, it's more than uh, expected. I was having lower expectation about this microphone. So yeah, this concludes our uh, teardown of the IGP Tech microphone that uh, I promised. So see you soon on the next video. I hope that um, was uh, educative in uh, some aspects for you, my friends that are watching this. Thank you. 
and I'm signing out.